Okay, so I'm back with part two of my junk mail flip through chip chat update. So this is like my November one. Um, just in case you haven't seen part one, my name is Nikki and my YouTube name is Smurfy161. So um, this is my loose leaf um, collaged. Um, so it's going to be my le loose leaf. Um, sort of glue book um, mixed media sort of thing um, I'm not going to do any more to the cover I just stuck that on there which I think I've shown before and it's from one of the pages out of the Colorista colouring books from Crafters Companion and I it just this the message to them to see, keep life simple which I like to think of for my um, crafting I like to do my crafting for relaxing um, unwinding helping with my depression and other stuff it just takes my mind off things and I keep seeing people do leaf I can't speak loose leaf um, books and stuff and I thought well I want to give it a go because where I've been ordering I've said in, I said in part one where I've been getting these um, holiday brochures and other brochures the covers are quite good um, thickness but what I have done on the backs, I don't know if you're going to see, so I might have to move you a bit. On the backs, I've got some uh, scrapbooking paper, and a lot of the colours aren't really my cup of tea. Um, they're the gorgeous girl ones, and they're lovely papers, lovely quality. It's just some of the prints aren't me, so I thought I'd use them on the back of these, just so there's something nice, because I don't want to glue on both bits. Um, so this was an image of oh, what are they called the Northern Lights, and I had this image of the dogs, and I didn't, um, I just really liked it. So I didn't want anything else with that. I sort of wanted that as the background. Then I found that quote on Pinterest, printed it off, and then just matted it onto some cards. So this one I've kept quite simple. And in case the message isn't showing very clear on the camera, it says. When I'm sad, there is no greater comfort than the silent, devoted companionship of my dog, which I think is lovely. All animals are pretty much like that. So that one I just wanted to keep really simple. Oops. Come on. This, some of them are just weird and wacky, but they've amused me. So like you've got, um, I've got the background there, and I like the wall, and it had the plant. And then I had these cushions. And a great big pudding. So I don't know why, but it just sort of went together and made me happy. And then the bottom of it, I, d I just wanted to cover up some of the um, the other background. And I just found that. So it just looks like everything's popping out the buildings. But it it's weird, but it just made me happy. <laughs> so you probably will hear that in quite a few of these sort of videos. Um, oops, I go over. Um, this is just stuff I've liked, but I wanted something down the side, and out of my crochet magazine, it had these um, balls of yarn, and the colours just sort of came, like you've got the green there, there's the sort of gold, so I sort of tried to pick the colours that were already in those pictures. Um, this one is just like pastel colours that just make me feel very calm and relaxed. So that's like my pastel theme. Uh, oops, it doesn't want to turn over. Um, just to plant one, I just really like the vases and stuff in that. Oops. Uh, yellow theme. Um, so, um, and the reason I sort of put that there is because it had the birds so it looked like they were flying and stuff so you can see my brain just goes off into a little world of its own but it's happy so that is pretty much the start of my loose leaf journal it's just I just um I just don't like throwing away stuff and I must sound like a broken record so that if I can I think I've got yeah so it's just like I'll use the back of that and then just cover up that with um let me just move this out of the way. So I'll use that as my sort of base and then put scrapbook paper on the back. And oh, sorry, I'm just I don't know why I'm saying sorry because you can't see what I'm doing, but you'll hear it. So I start off with a base like that, and then I've got this great big let me move that. Great big tub 
full of images that I've got um, out of these travel brochures, other magazines. So I would, just to make things a bit thicker, I would like to stick that on there. So I'm not telling anybody what to do, I'm just saying what I do. Is stick that on there and then I might find an image or... Um, like there's a lot of blue here so I might add like other bits of blue round her so that's the sort of thing I would do there um, so yeah I've got a mixture of different images so I will keep some of it and then go round so that's what I like to use for my glue books so it's just in one of these plastic tubs and as you can tell I've got quite a bit um, to play with so these are the sort of things I do at night because I don't if I've got some, like, if I have my carer stain and I can't sleep, um, obviously they're awake as well, but they might, n I don't always want them in the same room, so I want to be able to do something quiet. Um, or if I do have, like, um, friends or anybody else stay. Um, also, if I have Lexi and I can't sleep, it's something quiet I can do that won't disturb her. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. Or sometimes there's, I think, oh, I've got like half an hour I want to kill before I need to do something else. So I can get out something like this. It doesn't take too long to do. Um, so yes. So if you like that sort of thing, it's a good, um, or want to get into it. Um, and do that all. Sometimes I would, um, paint on a background like this. Um, get paints out and sort of make a bit of a texture background and use just small bits of that so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to develop sort of thing um, so yeah I think that's all I've got to say so part two is a bit shorter than I was thinking but yeah this is I've been wanting to sort of show how I keep my image um, images for a while I am um, but I just keep like bits um, like strips like that so if I want to cover like with that one of the pages I said if there was a little bit showing that I didn't want to show so I also keep like little bits like this um, small images just anything I might cut down um, or um, or some like that dog one that I didn't want to add anything to so I might then go and look on the internet for a quote that sort of fits the theme that I was thinking of for that page um, I don't think I've got much else to say um, other than obviously if you like my videos give them a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I will subscribe back I have got some new subscribers but I will mention them in another video because I am it's um, on another pad in the um, spare room and I just could not move at the moment. I think my legs gone dead. Um, yeah, so I will mention them in the, the my next video. I've just had a look and I've got 182 subscribers. So I'm really chuffed to nuts there. So thank you very much. And I don't think... I think that's it. Yeah, so if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe. And I will subscribe back. So take care, and I will see you all soon. Bye.